Hello my friends, welcome to Forex VKS. So today is 30th of November 2021. It has been two days uh, that I haven't uh, posted the new video because Sunday, of course, we are not having video on Sunday and Monday also. It's Monday morning, right? The analysis is exactly the same with uh, Saturday weekly analysis. So there's not too much to talk about. So we do it uh, on uh, Tuesday. So seems like a uh, love. <laughs> seems like man seems like ages right i haven't go online and talk to you guys okay hopefully uh today we got some good trade coming coming to us let's check out the introduction before we check out some news first before we go into the chart disclaimer be advised that i am not a professional financial consultant or advisor I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, let's check out the Forex Blender first. So today, uh, we got Fed Chair Powell speaks, right? Uh, and also maybe you want to check out some new site, see whether he got update any big, uh, uh, any big news or not, okay? Any important thing that he actually touches. Uh, but the important result that we need to monitor is this one, okay? Cat, okay, if a trading cat, you have to check out this GDP, monthly GDP. So they expect a drop in the GDP. If it's positive, right? better than expected so this could be a uh, good for the cat and also we got this uh cb con consumer confidence especially yellen speaks uh fomc member clarida speaks or oh, this one tuesday tomorrow morning uh, we got this uh, gdp for aud you have to watch out and also tomorrow evening okay we got uh adp non-farm environment change they expect a drop uh, which is a positive uh, they accept an uh, a drop uh, which is a negative number so okay ho hopefully it's uh, above expectation if you're trading usd so we also have this uh ism manufacturing uh pmi coming in in the evening okay so these are some some of it you some of the one uh data that you need to watch out okay but the important one are this few okay this few okay. Uh, gdp cat aud G gdp adp non-farm employment chain, and probably you want to take a look at the ism manufacturing okay so let's check out the what's happening to the global market due to uh what's happening to the global news uh, especially on this omicron uh, okay this a uh, new coronavirus variant that actually hit uh created shockwave in the market uh, so uh most of the indexes global indexes has a big drop on friday due to this but now right the new uh, the the new information coming out from this uh uh from the media right so uh showing that this uh this new omicron variant is not as deadly probably not not as deadly as the uh, delta okay so this south african doctor actually find out a few things uh this one uh dr angelique right she is a private practitioner and also a chair of south africa medical association so this is not no joke so uh she is saying that Okay, so most of them right, are seeing very mild symptoms uh, and none of them so far have admitted uh, patients to surgery. So, so this is not too serious. Initially, the, the symptoms are mild. Uh, or we are able to treat these patients uh, conservatively even at home, you know. So it's not, <coughs> seems like it's not as deadly as the Delta. And, uh, okay, here. Okay. Okay, unlike Delta, right? Unlike the Delta, so far patients have not reported loss of smell and taste. So Delta actually caused loss of smell, smell and or taste. And also no major drop in oxygen level in the new variant. So Delta actually caused a severe this uh, uh, oxygen depletion, right? Okay, so this one, right, actually does not actually drop. Okay, caused major uh, drop in oxygen level with the new variant. So 
looks like this one is not as uh, deadly okay as uh, what what has been uh, blown up by the media so of course media want to blow up the news right this is their job right to, to get viewers so so some of this uh, experience has been the very affecting people who are younger you know 40 are younger uh, which is strong in a uh, in their uh 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 which healthy uh, and strong in their ability to defense against uh, this uh, virus right so almost half of the patient with omicron symptoms she has treated were not vaccinated okay so means some of the vaccinated is still probably can get infected and uh okay so they say it started with them headache and a body ache uh, okay uh, for this uh, virus Okay, so another big news coming out, Pfizer said, right, an updated version of COVID-19 vaccine can be ready in 100 days, uh, okay, if the new Omicron variant is resistant to current vaccine. So they can produce a new vaccine to fight, okay, to fight the Omicron within 100 days. So now looks like it's not as deadly and not as scary as uh, 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 previously expected, okay. So uh, probably now I heard Moderna also saying that they can, they are able to uh, create the vaccine uh, within a short period of time so look like it's not as deadly as I expected but you see it did spread very fast uh, okay now looks like let me see uh, okay so cases are coming up popping up more and more okay uh, South Africa of course going up Netherlands increased Portugal also got 13 case Botswana 19 cases so Scotland 6 cases Canada 5 cases so now already went to uh, North America already Okay, England, five cases, Australia, five cases, Germany, five cases, Italy, five cases, Hong Kong. So, so, so now they are saying that actually this, this strain, right, could be already, already existed for quite some time. Uh, only now, only they managed to discover it. So actually, basically, I think probably a lot of cases already went out overseas. Uh, Sweden, one case, re, uh, are you reunion, one case, Czech Republic, one case, Australia, one case, Belgium, one case, Israel, two cases. Uh, Hong Kong three cases already from one Italy four cases Germany five so now it has spread it let's see the globally okay now it's spread it quite far away okay now Canada have a new cases South Korea probably might have one case I have cases this Australia now are not confirmed case this one was in initially uh, Hong Kong already have one now here Madagascar here also got so uh, so more cases now popping up at uh, Europe, uh, okay. So this one actually is is do is a concern, uh, but a lot of these uh, experts say it's not uh, uh, what you call it uh, doomsday, okay. It's not doomsday. Could not it might not be a doomsday doomsday virus, but still have to be cautious. Now Portugal also have so it's spreading quite fast, but our uh, market actually rebound, uh, okay, rebound from the from the previous uh, later when we check out the. The index okay down then you can see okay so let's check out the dxy first what happened to dxy dxy big drop right but now stabilize a bit okay stabilize so price is between s1 and r1 okay so probably this one we can't trade and the price in the middle middle here so probably you want to wait for a, a price to come back to s1 have a bullish price action or the price breakthrough r1 retest resumption for a buy opportunity huh? okay so this one we have to wait and see how the price uh, uh, is consolidating okay in the mid in between s1 and uh, r1 so i mark red euro usd okay euro AAC possible there is a possible opportunity to trade we have to wait for it okay to come down to uh, r1 possible okay for a sell opportunity or here okay you might get a one two three one two three reversal patterns. This one wait and see. Uh, look at the four hours. Okay, so there could be a one two three reversal pattern if you are trading shorter term. Uh. let me draw it out. Okay, one, two, three, continuation. Okay, once the price break here, okay, break the uh, bottom here, okay, there could be a sell trade towards uh, 
first target 11.1191 and even further down okay so we have to see okay first target okay if we can break through s1 then we are looking for second target okay then then it will be one two three continuation the bigger continuation continuation pattern okay let me draw it properly for you okay one two three continuous continuation pattern towards s2 okay so there is two possible trade here but we need to wait for the price first we have possible trade for one two three reversal okay reversal over here a break of the new nose over here if you are shorter term okay if you are longer term maybe you want to wait for the price to break through uh S1 1.11935 okay for the sell opportunity okay so this is a shorter term this is a long term so we do we do possible have a trade here wait for the price to go through here if the price go through here right the bottom of here means this setup already okay this setup is uh, a neglect, neglected uh, okay means this one is uh, obsolete okay this one two three continuation obsolete then maybe you want to wait for the price to come back to R1, okay, for a sell opportunity, okay, rebound from R1, uh, rejection from R1 for sell opportunity. Okay, rejection at here. For sell opportunity, okay. So, look at pound. Okay, pound is consolidating over here. So pound also we are waiting for a break of the bottom over here. If the break, if the price breaks through, right, S1, right, the bottom of this uh, uh candle, okay. So there is a possible sell opportunity towards S2 1.3130. Okay, you look at this. This is actually now it's doing a one two three continuation pattern, okay. Look at the four hours, ah, uh, one, two three continuation right if the price do break through okay so there is a sell opportunity if the price break below the okay the uh the top over here then there is a one two three this will be a one two three reversal okay so we don't trade this one counter trend our big idea right is still selling uh, buying the usd okay so we are still looking opportunity to buy so this one what we want to wait for is the price to break below okay below s1 uh, okay if the price break above Okay, if the price break, break above, we wait for the price come to R1 for a sell opportunity. USD JPY. Okay, now USD JPY is consolidating over at support one. So we are waiting for buy opportunity here. Okay, so we got a pin bar over here. So yesterday we got pin bar over here. So there is a possible buy opportunity over here. Let's look at the four hours. Four hours actually is making a triangle, so nothing, not, not, not easy to trade this one. It seems like it's making a triangle over here. So this is a bit more difficult to trade. Uh, so this one be very careful. No clear pattern to trade. Okay, no, no clear pattern to trade. So this one I will ignore first. Okay, while wow, it's inside this con congestion area, right? Remember we talked about this congestion area, right? Wow, it's inside this congestion area. I think I will ignore it for now. Okay, let me take out this one, the red color. AUD USD, so AUD USD price is consolidating at R1. So if the price did break below R1, below the bottom over here, right? So there is a sell opportunity towards S1. Okay, so the price, if the price managed to break through, so there is a sell opportunity towards S1, okay. If the price breaks below, okay, this consolidation, so there is a, uh, you have to wait for R2, the rejection and R2 for a sell opportunity. Uh, okay, let's look at four hours. We, we go into more detail what's happening. Okay, so we can see, right, it's one, two, three, one, two, Three, okay continuation if it breaks through okay sell opportunity if it breaks below okay the 
bottom over here is one two three reversal then we have to wait for a rebound from okay a rejection from uh, the next resistance area then only we will sell okay which is r2 New Zealand dollar USD, New Zealand dollar USD, we are I'm we are not selling this yet. Okay, there is a very big pin bar over here. So uh, this one is a bit careful, uh, so this one could be a double bottom. So there is a possibility that USD can be can be weakened can and start to be uh can weaken uh, okay after we see this pattern we got rejection over here so basically this is a a double but uh, double bottom right so this one have to be careful and we got a, a pin bar rejection at support area so there is a possible of a the price rebound okay the price rebound so we don't also have a, we don't even have we don't we also don't have a one two three reversal pattern not a very clean cut a one two three continuation or one two three reversal pattern so this one also we are not trading it but this one you can refer to this uh, because this is a uh, AUD USD on steroid right so but before any changes uh, happen to AUD USD, most likely NZD US USD will happen first. Okay, so this one looks like the price one to reverse. Okay, so uh, we have to see it and see which way this this uh, this pair goes. Huh? okay. So if the price did break through, does does break through the bottom over here, right? This pin bar, right? The the the, the uh, bottom of this pin bar, right? I think probably there is a sell opportunity over here. Okay, so this one do watch out. USD cat. Okay, USD cat consolidating at support one. The price breakthrough now coming back to retest support one. Uh. Okay, so look at the four hours. So we are look, we are waiting for a break above. Okay, one, two, three continuation. Uh. So we are waiting for the price to break above the consolidation here for buy opportunity. Okay, if the price come back. Okay, if the price come back to S2 area, then probably we have to wait for a, uh, a, the, a, a buy opportunity after the retracement. And I think S2 now is still. Okay, we have to make some adjustment now. Okay? If the price does come back to S2, then we will look for buy opportunity okay, after a rebound from S2. Go go! We got a big bearish bearish pin bar over here. So uh, price is consolidating. Haven't break through one seven seven nine. If price broke through one seven seven nine, so possible there is a sell opportunity over here. Okay, so there is uh, if the price break through one seven seven nine, there is possible a sell opportunity towards uh, S one. Okay, after the price break through here, let's look at four hours. Let's look at the four hours. See what's happening at four hours. Uh, a bit more, a bit sideways. This one is uh, a bit more sideways. Not a very good one, two, three continuation pattern to trade. So let me see. Uh, Not a very solid pattern to trade. Uh. So after it, uh, if you want to be more conservative, maybe you want to wait for a retest. Then only if you sell. Okay, if you are aggressive, possible you can try it. Okay, you can try the break of the this because we got a very strong print bar over here. A break below one seven seven nine, possible there is a still a sell opportunity over here. Okay, look look at SPI. So SPI rebound after the big drop, the scare of the Omicron, the new uh, coronavirus uh, variant. So now the price is starting to go up, so there's nothing to buy here because price is still below our bias line. So uh, nothing to sell. So with this one, we have to wait. There's no trade over here. Dex also after a big drop, so the price is starting to recover somewhat, but there's no direction. We can't still we can see a pin buy here possible. The price might still drop, but I, I will not be trading this after such a big drop. Nasdaq, okay, Nasdaq. Nasdaq actually the price uh, did rebound uh, okay after a big drop now the price did rebound Nasdaq possible there is a trade over here let me see uh, 
let me see the four hours not, no not yet we haven't get a one two three bottom yet so this one you have to wait or we have to wait for possible and uh, 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 more established bottom so this is not a bear bullish engulfing okay this is not a a very strong pattern for buy opportunity somewhere some more some 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 more if we buy right straight the way we are heading to the top of the channel which i'm not comfortable so this one have to wait and see uh dow jones also okay big drop but now price is, is inside this candles this big candle so i don't see a very strong direction yet i'm not trading this spx also i'm not trading this okay i'm not trading this yet uh so this one we have to wait and see okay we have to wait and see what are the next move okay so that's it for this week remember for bitcoin ethereum litecoin srp i'll be doing another uh, video uh, for crypto okay called crypto with ks okay the channel is almost ready let me see i can show you or not Hold on, uh -huh. here you go, crypto with KS. Okay, so the link, uh, all those, I will publish it once the video is ready. I will put, I will, I will publish the link below the uh, description here. So this one, okay, today I'll do one video on crypto with KS. So uh, hopefully you guys can follow this one, crypto my crypto new crypto channel. So uh, of course. If you're trading forex right most likely you're already trading crypto okay because crypto is a new i think crypto right is a new hottest thing right trading crypto is a new hottest thing compared to forex forex has been like uh, has been a, uh, i think sound like uh it's not it's not all okay it's not all i'm not saying that crypto are uh, trading forex no good okay so we are still making money from trading forex but the new trend is crypto right just like uh uh the the traders right is moving on you know they are still trading forex but a lot of them really jump jump in to invest in crypto okay including me okay so i'll start another channel over there since i'm doing investment in crypto so i will be sharing my uh my views on a crypto okay so uh i'll put it in the link below so next time okay please if you are trading crypto okay do follow my channel and do like and share my channel uh shortly okay i'll publish the 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 video on the crypto okay so thanks for watching stay safe from coronavirus see you tomorrow bye bye